Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my client's previous set and they have been on for a little over four weeks and everything is still intact with absolutely no lifting. I've already applied my client's full cover extensions and these are the Apre Medium Natural Square. My client decided on cow print for this particular set. She loves cows the same way people love kittens and puppies. So we just went ahead and did a full set of cow print nails. Our base for this set is iGel Beauty's Cozy Cashmere. I am going to do two coats and cure for 60 seconds.
So the background for our cow print is going to be Igel Beauty's Pure White. I'm just using the brush from the gel polish bottle to create a thick, jagged border. Um, you don't want it to be perfect at all, and you want each nail to be a little bit different. Once I get my one coat of white polish down, I'm going to take my fan brush and just feather the edges of the trim. Um, it'll be easier to understand once you see me do it, but you want to lightly feather out the edges of this trim just to give the nails a little bit of character. So I'm using a very light hand just to feather the edges inward toward the center of the nail. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It just adds a little bit of something to this design. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. For the cow print, I am using iGel Beauty's Ravishing and Dynamic Black. I decided to use black and brown just to give these nails some dimension and character. Um, I will be using the larger end of my dotting tool for these spots. And you want to be careful that you're not using globs of black polish because if your black polish is too thick, it's harder to cure and it will cause wrinkling and you don't want that. So I get enough to make sure that I am, you know, applying a liberal amount and getting full coverage, but that it's not too thick that it won't cure properly. Once I'm done with all of the black spots, I'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds.
Now that all the black spots are cured, I'm going in with Ravishing, which is that chocolate brown, and adding a couple more spots to the nails. And I am overlapping that brown onto the black for some of the spots, and then some of them I just have kind of off on their own. Every nail should be a little bit different, and the amount of spots and the size of the spots you choose are completely up to you. Once I'm happy with the brown spots, I will go ahead and cure her nails for 60 seconds. As a finishing touch to this set, I'm using my smallest dotting tool and placing very small black dots on the nail just to add just a bit more character to this set of nails. Some of the dots will be really close together, some may be really far apart. Um, it really doesn't matter how you place them. Once I have all the dots on the nails, I'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. So if you've been following me for a while, then you know I like to set my rhinestones up in advance and I will be using my McCart rhinestone glue. I'm going in with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a lint-free wipe just to remove any tackiness from the nail to be sure that the glue adheres properly. Once I have all of the cuticle rhinestones placed, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. So I'm gonna go in with my McCart rhinestone glue and place a generous amount down the center of the nail. Um, as I've stated before, it's really important that you press your rhinestones into the wet glue um, just to secure them better and to get a better hold. Most of my clients' rhinestones last the entire time that they have their set of nails. And I believe this is part of the reason why. So once I get the rhinestones pressed into the glue, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Thank you. 
because we have quite a few rhinestones and some of them are larger, I am going to go in with my precision glue and just trace around the edge of those rhinestones and then I'll cure for 60 seconds. And as always, I'm going to be finishing up this set with iGel Beauty's No Wipe Top Coat and curing for 60 seconds. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon in the next one. Bye. You're a